Hey, I'm Todd from Get Strong. This week's devotion comes from our reading in the prophets. And I really want to focus on one verse today that really just summarizes the whole journey uh, that we've been experiencing with the nation of Israel. It comes from Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 13, and it says this. It says, For my people have committed a double evil. They have abandoned me, the fountain of living water, and dug cisterns for themselves, crack cisterns that cannot hold water. And so this is a common theme throughout all of Scripture, from the entire journey from Egypt up until now. Even in Egypt, God was trying to get not only the people out of Egypt, but to get Egypt out of them. When they were heading into the Promised Land, Moses stood before the people and he says, I present to you two choices. Choose life or choose death. Go by my commands, follow my way, or go by the way of the world. At the end of Joshua's time, Joshua gives them a same challenge. He's like, "For as for me and my house, we will cho- choose the Lord. We will not go the way of the world. And so all throughout Judges, all throughout the Old Testament actually, it's been this struggle where the nation has been wanting to go their own way versus going God's way. They'll drift over to God, but then they go back to their own way. That's what this verse is talking about. Jeremiah is a prophet. And he's talking about the coming Messiah. He's, he's, he's preparing people for the coming Messiah. And so he is reminding people why they are in the predicament that they are in. He is like, my people have committed a double evil. They have rejected God, who is the fountain of living water. So not only have they rejected him, but they chose the world. And so that's where we are today a lot of the times. We are presented with the exact same crossroad, the exact same challenge to either follow in the pathway that God has laid before us or we should go go our own way. And a lot of people talk or think that that path is is a is a V in the road, or it is the the road less traveled. That it's a smaller road here off to the side, and there's a big road where everybody else is. I think it's just the opposite. I think that it is going the absolute opposite direction. So, like the world is moving like a freeway down in one direction, and the way of God is a small narrow road that goes against the rain back through all that traffic and so people are heckling us they can see us they can see that we're going that direction and they mock us and tease us and so it's so easy to get caught up in that and turn and go back with the world because it seems easier and so that's the challenge that we have god's way always leads to the destination that god wants us to go it leads to life it leads to happiness and ultimate joy and contentment And the world's way leads to destruction. The problem is, God's way has delayed gratification. It is, go this way and you will receive eternal blessings. The world's way says, hey, I'll give it to you right here. I'll give you a blessing right now if you go my direction. And when we go that direction... The, it never fulfills. It always falls short. And so we, we get caught up in the lies of the world. And once we start down that path, it's too late. Then we start wallowing in regret and struggling with that decision and struggling with the consequences. And so God is challenging us today. Choose my way or choose the world's way. Either way, you're going to deal with the consequences. God's consequences are all blessings and joy and in His presence where the world is a separation from God. It is negative circumstances. It is pain. It is it is negative. So today I just want to encourage you, evaluate where you are. Do not follow the lies of the world, but follow the truth of God's Word. The way we do it is we bury ourselves in God's word. God told Joshua, do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Prosperous and successful is moving in the right direction with God. It says in Psalms 119, how can a young man keep his way pure? He answers the question by saying, I have hidden your word in my heart so that I might not sin against you. 
He says that your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. God is opening up doors. He is shining the light. He is guiding us in the right direction. All we have to do is walk that path with Him. So, here's the question. What is it that you're doing that you know you shouldn't be doing? What is it that you're not doing that you should be doing?